Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regions. But no worries, this is Common Core, so this Cram session can be used for Algebra 2 in any state throughout the United States or any course throughout the world. Function Transformation Basics. Concept number 8, a times f of x. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. If I could stick every single math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I definitely would. So inbox me at themedicine at gmail.com to get your healthy dose by ordering and purchasing the complete cram session or just the function transformations basics, okay? You have lots of friends, classmates, pairs, or even colleagues who may be taking Algebra 2 with you. Tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can get their healthy boost by ordering and purchasing the complete cram session. Transformations basics. Describe what happens to the graph of y equals f of x when it is multiplied by a leading coefficient a, that is, when it becomes y equals a times f of x. But I must warn you, there is a caveat. a has to have a value between 0 and 1, that is, it has to be a fraction, and the sign is positive. So let's say for argument's sakes for your description that a is equivalent to 1 half, positive 1 half, so definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to either write out or depict a concise description of what happens to the graph of f of x. All right, so if you were, let's say this were an exam question and you were required to write out your answer, this is what you could write. You could say that um, f of x experiences a vertical contraction or shrinks by a factor of a. Here specifically, a is one half, so it would be by a factor of one half. But if you were to visually depict the shrinking on a Cartesian coordinate plane, you could draw something like this. Okay, and now you have y equals one half f of x. Okay, but you know, our leading coefficient is not always going to be positive. There are instances where the magnitude is between 0 and 1, therefore a, a fraction yielding a vertical contraction. But when you negate it, it's going to be still a vertical contraction, but there will be flipping about or rotation about the x-axis, all right? or what you call a vertical flip in case the original ups, upright um, function doesn't overlay the x-axis. All right, so now this depiction is going to be y equals negative one-half f of x. Here you still have a vertical contraction, but also a um, rotation about the x-axis or a vertical flip, okay? And if you want more information on negating the coefficient or negating the function f of x, um, look at, I think it's going to be cram session six of this series, and that explains exactly what negation is, okay? All right, so good luck studying. Definitely purchase. Definitely don't give up. You can do it. Bye.